Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Just going to show you how to carry out a tightness test in this video on a commercial plant room. You may have seen some of the other videos where I carried out tightness tests, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to do another one and the calculations as well. Here I am turning off the power to the boilers and aiming to leave the pumps on so that it can circulate the heat so that there's no kettling that takes place. These are the temperatures that we have the system on. And this is the diagram showing me the pipe work. This is the system. This is the gas booster set. We've got two gas boosters. And there's a belt for the gas boosters. I'm going to turn the gas boosters off. Thank you guys for subscribing. A big, big up to all you guys. You can see the pressure going down. I'll be having a good week. The weather's been crazy at the moment. Very windy, rainy, and sunny and rainy. Okay, so we've got the boosters off. And now we are back up here to the boilers. Here's the pipe work. Looking at the pipe work, just inspecting it, seeing if it's clipped and so on. There's a gas solenoid. And then look at the pipe work. Comes down here. And then comes up. And it comes over. And then you can see it around there working its way around. And then it will work its way out of the plant room. There's the isolation valve, the butterfly isolation valves on there. And then you can see the earth in down there. Then the pipe goes through the wall. On the diagram, you can see the pipe sizes here. You see the gas pipe sizes, 100 millimeters and so on. And it's also labeled with tags. And then here's the line diagram. Always ensure that your line diagram can be found. Just inspecting the pipe work for damage and so on, making sure it's clipped. The size of the meter. There's my isolation down there, my isolation valve, and there's my regulator. Make sure that the regulator hasn't been tampered with. Look for your ventilation in your gas meter cupboard and make sure that the meter is stable. So I'm going to zero my manometer. Okay, so it's been zeroed. I'm going to turn it off. Whilst you're turning things off as well, just check the condition of the meter. Check the housing that it's in. Make sure that it can be locked and so on and that it's clearly labelled. Just have a recce when you're doing this. Don't just go and do your job. Open your eyes and do your fags and check for things. Look for obvious risks. Things that you can note down. Ideally, you don't want to be carrying out servicing and you are just saying, oh, all is well. There is normally always something to note on a service. Look for your direction tape. Make sure that the pipe is the right color and so on. And that it is labeled. Make sure you've got your labels on your gas pipe. I'm connecting my gauge. So ideally, we want 20 or 21 in this scenario. I'm just going to wait for it to stabilize. Also, check your conditions. Make sure you've got the right weather conditions when you are testing. Later, I'm going to show you how I did my calculations. And then I'm using my number here, my 160. Sometimes people can see the 100 and get confused. Okay, now, so my manometer is stabilizing around about 23. Okay, I've carried out my tightness test and it is successful. I didn't really have any drop whatsoever. So I'm opening back up my valve 
it does take a while to open it. So once this is done, I'm going to show you a few more bits inside. Remember to use your leak detection fluid. And making sure it's locked and ventilated and check your pipe work. Okay, now this is the worksheet I have used. If you need one of these service sheets, let me know. So here it is here. I've got 50 millimeter pipe here still, and I've got four meters of it. And so I times it. I times four by 0 0.0024 and then I got 0 0.0096. And then I had my 100 millimeter pipe, about 16 meters of it. I've got 0 0.009 times by the 16. And then this is my answer here, 0 0.144. So I added those two together. And then I ended up with here, my IVP of 0 0.153. You can times 0 0.1, but I just skipped that stage and I just added my 10% on here. So you can put the figure in here if you like. So I've got my 10% added on here now. And so it's IVP and fittings total. So that's A plus what would have been in B has given me 0 0.168. And then my IVM, that's my meter volume, that's 0 0.304. So I've got that from up here. Have a look in your book. So 0 0.304, quite a massive meter. So now I add my C and my D together. I'm adding my IVP and fittings to my meter volume to get my IVT, my total installation volume. And that's 0 0.472. So I want to know my times. So I go up here to my chart and because of based upon my volume, I'm going to put it as a four minute tightness test. And my let by is going to be two minutes because the installation volume is under 0.5. So I want to know my maximum allowable pressure drop. And I've looked at the chart here and my smallest occupied space is about 30 meters cubed. So I go down in my chart and I look for my volume and my volume is at this stage here. So I come across and it is 1.9 so that's how much i'm allowed of a pressure drop over my tightness test duration here you can see it being carried out here so i've got my 1.9 written in here what's my drop my let by test period is two minutes here and then my stabilization period is six minutes and my tightness test duration is four minutes this is my total written in here got that from here 0.472 and remember here's my let by Again, and this is my tightness test duration based, it's an existing system, and that's based upon my figure down here. So here I want either 20 or 21 for my tightness test pressure based upon my MOP, and then I've got pressure gauge type, electronic, it's not water. I think if it was water, I think it would have been about 16 minutes. My maximum drop would have been 1.9. I see my maximum permitted leak rate to be for when I'm doing size one, but I put 1.9 here because that's how much millibar drop I'm permitted. That's my maximum amount. I didn't have to put anything in here. I could have left this blank. In existing, can temperature affect the test? No, it's a diaphragm meter. It's not a rotary meter. It's a U60 meter bypass. no. Okay, I hope that has helped you with your tightness testing. Let me know if you do things different in the comments. Any, any ideas you have to make it easier. All right, thank you for joining me. A big shout out to all you guys watching again, wherever you are in the UK or around the world. Thanks again. Until next time. Bye-bye-bye.